Praise the Lord. Today we want to take the word of God into our spirit to enable us to determine and be convicted in our spirit which way are we walking. We need to take the word of God into our spirit as a guide, as a, as a compass to ensure that we are in the right direction with our faith. Shall we pray? Father, speak your word to our spirit man. Let today be a day of reckoning, a day of acknowledging the truthfulness of our following you. How faithful, how truthful are we as disciples? Are we just with the crowd or are we really, really working for you, serving you as called people, people who are called into service? Direct our hearts and our minds by your spirit today, even as we share your word. May the Lord speak to you today to translate your commitment to Christ into a destiny that he has fought for you, that you will not look on the left or the right, but you will focus on your God and serve him to the end. May the Lord speak to you today, even as we share his word very briefly. Amen. The text for our discourse today uh, is in two parts. The same narrative in Matthew chapter 7, verse 13 and 14, and I will take it also from Luke 13. Here is the reading of the word of God. Enter by the narrow gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leads to destruction. And there are many who go by, who go in by it. Because narrow is the gate, and difficult is the way which leads to life, and there are few who find it. Matthew chapter 7, 13 and 14. The same account is provided in Luke chapter 13, and I'll read from verse 22. So then Jesus went through the towns and villages, teaching as he made his way to Jerusalem. Someone asked him, Lord, are only a few people going to be saved? He said to them, make every effort to enter through the narrow door. Because many, I tell you, will try to enter and will not be able to. Once the owner of the house gets up and closes the door, you will stand outside knocking and pleading. Sir, open the door, but he will answer you, I don't know you or where you come from. Then you will say, we ate and drank with you and taught in your streets. But he will reply, I don't know you or where you are coming from. Away from me, all you evildoers. This narrative from the scripture uh, paints a picture of selection. Uh, you know, Christ is very clear in what he's saying here in Matthew 7 uh, and also in Luke 13. We need to understand that where we are reading today is a concluding part of the Sermon on the Mount. Jesus started teaching the Sermon on the Mount in Matthew chapter 5. When the crowd followed him, but he called his disciples to his side, he sat down and they sat around him on the mountainside and he taught them the, the, the mountain, you know, the Sermon on the Mount, the Beatitudes, how to eat, how to pray, how to fast, how to do good acts. So all the way from Matthew chapter 5, chapter 6 and chapter 7, Jesus was teaching the new way of serving God, very different from the Pharisaic or the Jewish elders, how they had made God's worship. Jesus was teaching the new order. If you like, the New Testament Christian principles was out, laid out in Matthew chapter 5, 6, and 7. And today what we have read is the first part of the conclusion uh, of this Sermon on the Mount as we look into the, the concluding part recorded in Matthew chapter 7. In fact, you will find Matthew chapter 7 from verse 13 to 27, uh, as the summary of all that Jesus had been teaching on the Sermon on the Mount. And as he concludes, he talks about how to identify and how to recognize a good disciple from a bad disciple. In fact, the entire passage from Matthew chapter 7, 13 to 27, um, is about three metaphors, three uh, examples of life that Jesus uses to explain uh, who is a good disciple and who is a bad disciple. The American say, Abusian, Yesu, not for the bread in a cheap. Now, a broom pen pen, so be no, 
na wo se wo fa ne suafo no etena ase na wo kire kire won ni ni wonu nya yesu na wa ba nipa mu no se ne wo pese yakopon mra ne ne hihye ya wo de ji nipa se ne ensi embo kristo bra no fa enti sermon on the mount yakopon ana yesu nchire kire wo kire wo pepo no se no ene wo matthew kire wo eti matthew eti enum eti nsia eni eti nson ni wo de ba wiye wo eti nson no ana babia ya kenkan yi eye dia edi kan amfato hu miansa yesu di amfato hu de ba di wie na sema na wo kire nyina kwan a ya amfato nsum nyame wono yesu ne ne maye yi ene ne maye achi a eye different eye sro nkokora sin sane na farasi fo no amanya me soma beye abusia enu ene de yi me no e kan nyame asem se matthew chapter 7 Uh, 13 and 14 pe ene ye jina so ene ni mfatu mwumi ya sana diye di kain se abe ya abe hun ubi ya ye nukwa nukware chidi fo yesu ya chidi fo nukware fo ana ubi ya udi yesu ya chidi a wanyo nukwa fo enti matthew 7 13 and 14 na yakin kain yesu di mfatu mwubi e eh, tuwa se ahin ahin yeno ana yesu ahin uh, osura ahin yeno e eh, ya kwa mienu ani apunu mienu ani yade yade ko na apunu ba ko pe ene ko ho na nipa ni bebere nam ekwan bi so ene apunu bi a emfa won ko aheni ene mu esan se nipa no aye o ma dwen se eh o mo nkasa bebo o mo bra bi na ebre no so o ma qualify in fact and then the pay master ma mi jina so ni se the narrow gate versus the wide gate where are you walking ekwan tian no ene ekwan a tre no emu de ahen ana wonam so eh yenhwe asem ni biem e wo matthew chapter 7 no 13 and 14 na minyina ho mbo asem no toa e ma ho emfa nko fie when you look at matthew 7 13 it says enter by the narrow gate in fact the luke version says make every effort to enter by the narrow gate for wide is the gate and broad is the way abusua ekwan no yemienu ana yakopon abo amani pa nipa no bebre na mkwan tetrete no so eko gate tetrete ni mu na trona ye kan na ma ye hunu se da bi nye no ne kwan no va ye hwe ni ye pa se se matthew e twro we yakopon nkonkrom e ka matthew se wo twro we ama ye hunu se yakopon hi hye ya wo ho ma nipa enye dia onipa adwen e ye no na mum dia onyame ahyehye in fact Matthew say uh, make every effort to enter the kingdom of God or make every effort to enter the presence of God through the narrow gate abusia say obi ka cho say make effort ah na say say un jina ho anye ja ho a ye mu bebere ye be hu awurade ye ja ye ho ti asori mu a say awurade ye de abisa de abro wa na ba ye bibia enso abusia nyame ama me no mie no nyansa ne aho de nimdie se ye mfa mbo bra bi ni amfi abisa de mre no bebre aba sori a welfare hu hia won ese salvation abusu na na dai me no oka o nyame asem ni ate ase se yakopon se ye mbo ye ho modern se ye benante kwan trene ni so kwan a ye fia no so adenti ene o de kwan fia ana e kire ba bi a ekɔ ahenie ni mu ye be hu ni nche ase ase se ye de mfoni ni ensia bi ana Matthew chapter 7 13 and 14 etwa mame ndi mfoni edi kan no me hu se Yesu wo hye yen se yen bo ye ho moden se ye ba wura eh apono tian no mu ndi dia e ka ne se se wa mo ho moden a wa hwe a wa hwe a na oti asoro no mu nso wa nwura mu nya ni mpa ni nyina e wa asoro no na nya nkwa je Abusia mame nka asem we na minsi su dua enye nipa e wa so dam nyina na nya nkwa je nipa no bebere wo die ntia wa ba asore enti man hwe nipa bi na nsom nyame my brother i think i need to emphasize this point strongly that when we come to church it's not everybody in the church who have been born again there are several reasons why people are in church some have come for an agenda some have come for various reasons but those who are born again of the spirit my plea with you is that make every effort to enter the kingdom of god through the narrow gate because you know philippians says work out your salvation with fear and trembling there is the positional salvation 
but there's also the progressive salvation as we work out the, the gift of God in our lives in service. The text says, enter. So entering doesn't happen until you make an effort or take um, deliberate steps. That means entering the narrow gate or the wide gate even for that matter does not happen to you. You make it happen. Say ube ura a pronotian mu and anse obeko a pronotin mu and ya dia a ya semwe to wo ni mum wo and a woman bum a hina wanam ebusya and ne de mimisa o nyamimu wakwa sorry ache a kwa be na on nam so nyam sum to say as wunam kwain tin so narrow road no air called narrow gate no and anse wunam wide road no em fa unku ye ebusya enter that is, take yourself through the narrow gate. It's not an incident that happens to you. It's, it's a choice you make how you live your life. The road and the gate to destruction versus the road and the gate to salvation. This is the message Jesus is offering. There's a, Jesus speaks clearly that the wide road and the wide gate lead to destruction. That's what he says very clearly in Matthew. The wide road that seems easy to travel on or to walk on. And the wide gate that can allow so many people to pass through leads to destruction. What do we mean? Are we talking about Christians who have been born again? Are we talking of people in the church? Are we talking of people who are not believers? My brother, I think the point clearly that Jesus is making that it is possible for people to be in church Actually, it is even possible when you look down into Matthew chapter 7 where we, are, where we are reading, you see that Jesus is talking about some people who will come to him at the end of, of the time and say that in your name we cast out demons. In your name we work out miracles. And Jesus will tell them away from me, you workers of iniquity. My brother, my sister, if these people had not used Jesus' name to cast out demons, if they have not used Jesus' name to heal the sick, they wouldn't have been bold enough to say it on the point of admission into heaven or, or not. So Jesus says, away from me, brother, my sister, don't let somebody's way of being in the church confuse you. Where are you walking? Narrow road to the narrow gate or wide road to the wide gate? Check for yourself. Where are you walking? You see, going to heaven or, or pleasing God is not a, a democracy. It's not a majority carries the vote issue. It is a personal, determined conviction how you live your life. Have you received Christ? And have you been born again and, and the Spirit of God living in you? Even for those of us who are you know, born again, Spirit-filled, tongue-speaking, miracle-working people, Bible says, work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Because... It is possible when Paul prays that I'm um, pray for me that when I have done all this, I will not just be a signpost pointing people to heaven. My brother, I came this time to check with you the narrow road to the narrow gate, the wide road to the wide gate. Where are you walking? As you fellowship in church, as you join the church community, and as you become partner or to the community of believers, where are you walking? It is not enough, my brother, just to be saved. Because, you know, First Corinthians tells us there's no foundation again that can be built but Christ which has been built. But everybody will build on this foundation. With your faith, what are you building? First Corinthians says some will build with hay, with wood, with straw, with clay, with silver, with gold. But I say at the end of time, our works will be tested. Ah, and then there, those who are built with wood, with hay, with straw, their work will be destroyed. They themselves may be rescued, but as if they have been wounded. My brother, I don't want to go to heaven with wounds on me. I want to go to heaven to receive a crown. If you are a believer, I'm addressing you. Walk the narrow way. Don't confuse yourself with people walking on the wide road who are taking Christianity as a, as, a, as a democracy, as a go for all, as a populist thing. Christianity is not popularity. And Christ Jesus is very clear here that it's not the majority where the majority is going that matters. It is those who are walking according to the principle. In the New Testament, the word translated as 
destruction, when he says the wide road leads to destruction, that word also means perdition. It means ruin or exclusion from salvation and could refer to temporal things in other words, material things. It could also have eternal application. So the wide road and the wide gate lead to exclusion from salvation and into perdition or ruin. Brother, sister, this is the word of God. Where are you walking? Are you on the narrow road to the narrow gate? Or are you on the wide road to the wide gate? Take a decision. It is time for us all to take a decision. Matthew 7, 13, 14. Yesu <laughs> Casa or the Troyana or Quire call say him or just a Nitia Charles a quire a you free and cupo in him a quire emfa won't call and quadiemo, ne you free and cupo in him, a do call say him. Now what it took a quire a tiano the narrow gate and the narrow road. He says the narrow road and the narrow gate lead to life. The word translated as life in this passage is Zoe. Zoe, that is the life of the soul of the spirit, not bios. It is not um, physical life. So the narrow road and the narrow gate lead to spiritual life and the life of the soul. It leads to the life which Jesus referred to in, in, in John 14, 6, when he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So unam emra tiano so senior yango pwasi sha maya enua ena unya dangua senior Jesu emkwa na sema wakano sa sema na na Jesu se mene emkwa no nukure ena emkwa sa emkwa na sema wakano enua na Matthew e Jesu nua ha enti ebusiya mesra obebre asoria wakano ya jo emkwa anau ya asoriba. And when you phone me, I don't ba the atosumi. You know, me di kan kan say me wo phone you in siya, but the di kan say Jesus Eshe yen say bo hu modern. Say ube nante kwantiano ako prontiano. Na ma 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 kwantetre. Any prontetre no enu ya wajin. In phone you atosumi you know ni say kwani ye mi no. Ah, there are two parallel roads and two gates. One road leads to the gate of salvation. And the other road, which is wide, leads to the gate of destruction. decision. So as we have believed Christ, we must work out our salvation. So when you yes we need ya, and you have to say, I'm trying to say it. Let's take a look at something very subtle here. The narrow path leads to the narrow gate, and the wide path leads to the wide gate. So you cannot enter the narrow gate if you walk on the wide path. Neither can you enter the wide gate. If you walk on the narrow path, this is very interesting. Nipa ni be brain tears ye say, Woba, sorry, what you are tight, ye are fast in our yebi, ye are country in Pibo, our yebi, now until you walk heaven, the B, ye are no qualification to heaven, the B, and you are sorry, ba, we are, and you are tight, I would tear, and you are for you, I will born, you are country, I will born, and a jonquan, 
Hello, me obi kasa. Ze nye ze obi o ha o se o me ade me kwa sorry ye di me me aso u ya sorry penin. Ne mo kwanya ye faso eko ahime mu se ni Roman phones engu manetra ye eti du nche mu engkro ni du ye di ye num ne parka jidi wa kumam na odi wa numa parka se Yesu ye nyango pamba. Obe wuji wa se, oye nisa, ene wunya dankwa. Wenye mkwane wye no, ene wundante. Se, un tumi ene nante, kwa nti ano, se wabra yesu, enti umu. Se, yesu enti umuwa, ewe ase ya kono, ebe mwa nante, kwa nti treno so. Ewe ase, adye fe, fe, ebe mwa nante, kwa nti treno so. Enti, ebu siya, di eme un, e ipa, ene, ene, pe yi, me pese oti ase, ene se, e ye possible. Se, uwa sorum, Nanso wana mwai geti na wana. Sani se, Yesu, enye wa fufro. Enye wa fufro nti, wiasi ni yoma ya wa de. Wiasi ni yoma ya wa fe. Enye se, wu prise wa bedi unwe frimo. Nemo, wu prise ye nchi wa se. Wu prise ye hu wa se. Wu bose ha, wiasi brani bi. Nisi wu asori mu. Se, wu tina, wu tisa, wu tibaya ni mu dia. Eni ya dia, Yesu kanu wa mati wu no. Ebe to, mati wu chapter 7. Se, ube kwa 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 Yeah, 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 revivals were sorry, no. Because I was a free me so called, the minimum. I was a quiet man, I was a so. And now somebody said, a quiet, a jicon quim. And a quiet, a tra, a decor say, a hen, I was a What has this sermon, you know, uh, this seems obvious. They are making, uh, it looks obvious, sir. Eh? So, one num narrow path now, oh, quiet, one num wide. It looks obvious. What has it seems obvious? Some people are walking on the wide path and hoping, even thinking, they can get through the narrow gate. The two paths do not cross or intersect. Look carefully into the scripture. It is either you are going to enter the narrow gate or you are going to enter the wide gate. And that depends on which road you are walking on. In a world that is beginning to accept pluralism, God is presenting this message in binary terms. You are either walking to salvation or walking to damnation. This is the second picture I have. The two roads don't intersect. In a world where people are living two lives, this is a sharp message, a sharp warning, a rebuke, and a guidance. Kiso sum ako ye abram pre nu. O kwa sore. Nansu obo wi ase bra. Obo ho. Onansu obo wi ase bra. Enso ubi sana o kwa sore. Un tumi en ye ni mye nu sa de bi. Bible ye very clear se. Ada se. Un nam kwa te nu so e kwa un kwa ji mu. Ana se un nam kwa te tre nu so e kwa se ye mu. Un tumi nam kwa te tre nu so na un ho pu se. Un mwe ni nda se. The two cannot work together. Madame Fusof will be a or can or say, and if Christopher we are living a balanced life. Balanced life, which is an inabaku, sorry, and a nabaku, we are saying, when him send we are for bomb, bra, and when him send a sort of one's bomb, bra, and till we see two cultures, or ba, sorry, when him send your yano home, or pong, sorry, when him so yano home, and we say, oh, yes, I would add down home. Sanse yesu maye mfonyi ni poti nse. E kwa ni miye no enkroso. There's no where that you can cross. The only thing is, se wuna mkwa ni tetre ya nisuwa obo wya se bra. Obed nu hun, nwa san wechi. Ama yesu, adi waba kwa ni, adi kwa nkwa jie ni mu. You know, so when it comes to the kingdom of God, majority is not always right. This is the next thing I like to, to draw very clearly. You know, the numbers of people on the road is not the determination that God will save them. In fact, Nippon Bibri, I want to say, the voice of the people is the voice of God. It is not biblical. In the Bible, God deals with majority. In fact, you have several examples in the scripture where the majority was wrong. Nanu neye kan urebi ya ware yungwa sem. Eno so sofo se ne di ya ware jaya di ya yeko muna mse. Eno nchese nyami ya prenso. The fact that people are doing it does not mean God has a... Nobody revised the constitution of heaven. 
obia obia ni wa wani yakopo atranse a revise osoro constitution aka se nyame wo kan se nzo the be god is the same god yesterday today and forever was said there are two paths and there are two gates make a choice where you are you can say ni padodo no ana odi o machi dia anha obefom va da bia sem ba kwa ya meta ka kire ni pa ne bebere en se se wudi ni pa bia chi a wonsom nyame we don't stand right before god because most people are doing it in a world that is leaning towards populism god is presenting access to his kingdom to those who work with reflective conviction based on godly values not numbers not crowd logic abusi am pesa o ti ase ye se osoro ahiman mu no enye dodo echi dodo e na wudi a wodi ko heaven the be enye se nsori ni nyina ye nti na ye correct the be emo di anyame na sema ka pefe no eno na de obekọ abusi am me pesa o ti ase me ase biem se yakopon e kasa kire en se a quire at the banning channel, a ya quine fia, a gate fia. And not just a ya brebia ya bo, we are saying, or see a fia who see ye. My young empire home fra fara, dear, we are seeing ye, and now they are the door ye. Throughout Jesus' teaching on this last topic on false and true disciples in Matthew chapter 7, verse 13 to 29, Jesus speaks in binary terms narrow and wide. In the verse 13 and 14 where we are studying if you go down to verse 15 27 or the same chapter he talks about false and true prophets and then he talks about wise or foolish builder in verse 24 to 27 so god is not dealing with pluralism he's not doing with multiple real god is dealing with one truth you are either on the narrow path to salvation or on the wide path to condemnation in it, it is as simple as it is scary. Ebusiya, eh, who can cry? Say, ni pano bebre. Enam, I was sorry, no This time, you know, uko was sorry. Ah, yeah, the numbers. Banyango pon wanche numbers. Washe ni pa watu nuwe siwo. Say, obedi ono yango pon wechi. It is, it is as true as it is scary. For those who truly seek the kingdom of God and His righteousness. It is simple and clear. But for many who want to enjoy the world and also gain the kingdom of God, it is a scary message that no, it is not possible to gain the world and gain salvation. And we say, I just say, we are in your media, and I say, we are in some media, a crime and cross. And you are in the middle of it. Where is your position, really? It is as simple as it is scary. If you look at Matthew 25, verse 31 to 46, Jesus presents the binary principles clearly by separating the sheep to his right and the goat to his left. There is no middle ground. You are either a true disciple or a false one. You cannot be both or choose one road with the intent of entering a different gate. Matthew chapter 7. There's a fourth picture. Matthew chapter 7, 13 and 14. And he said, Jesus is not compelling anyone or making it difficult for anyone to choose which road or gate to walk on. Or, or which road to walk on or gate to enter. He is advising everyone in a way that enables every person to make a choice. So we see in Matthew 7, 13 and 14, Jesus is not compelling, he's advising, he's entreating. He doesn't say that because you are already on the wide road, you cannot start or restart to be on the, on the narrow road. He leaves that open to everyone who will choose which road he wants to work on and which gate he wants to enter but advises strongly that we should make every effort to enter the narrow gate. Why? It is because he knows everyone can enter the narrow gate. Bible says he doesn't desire that anyone should go into destruction, but that all men should come to salvation. Abusia may be so be sorry. 
wa unim yesu unim asori nyom to unim sani asori yesi ya no nemo wakumu mu ankasa ankasa hina wanam in your heart of heart where are you walking are you walking on the narrow road to the narrow gate depending absolutely on the spirit of god or are the attractions of the world enticing you e wi ase japade ni wi ase ni o ma fefe no e jiju e ma wo ye ni o ma bia wonim wo akoma mse nyame mpe sister bi die wo se aware ya mi ja nyame beti mase e hello mesre o bebre ma ndwene ma nyame esanse de nyame e pa ma wate ase nyina wa twara ma wo ma nsa sa nyame mra na nka se wo beti ase ya nyame pese wo ye nyina wo asoro ni mu a fa ho wura nyame nhihye ye ni mu nyina ye na wotimi adi wanim ama wasom no nokure mu ene ene hohon mu abusia ya wo mre kakra ntima me no nko anim e wo nyame asem ya ye kan na wate ase ye ye ezan se eye eye ade a e wo se ye da ye ho so se agidi fo se yakopon afrey ama obra bi ama nanti e bia ye suban ene ye ne yoye ene ye nyoma ene wiase edasro nkokura wa wo sori anopa wa fa ho se wo kwa sori ana se wo kwa djuma se kristo ni ba ma ana se kristo ni ba abusia ehin na wonam okwan ben so na wonam wo huhun mu ni pesuo no atinka ben na wonam so wo tinka se de wiase fo ye no wo kon dobi ana de anyakopon akakan to wo no akire ye eno na wo kon do emfoni ni a me pese me no twa kakra ne se Abusia, the world, the word translated narrow also means difficult. Narrow road means not easy. So the message here is that the Christian life is not a carefree, easy life. The Christian life is actually a life of conscious battle, daily walk with deliberate intent to follow a set of rules and regulations. It is not a carefree. God didn't call us to abandon. He called us to obedience. Ebusiya me no e kasa se yangu po afraya ma Kristo som eni Kristo munanti ya e e different. E dasro unku kura se ni wiasi for nanti eni se ni wiasi for bo umbra. Wa yangu po afraya ama eni jia muroswa se ya nam wiasi ya ya jeja ya hu ne bibia ya tumi ya debi ne mo afraya ama eni shere afraya ama Subain ene obrebia eso wano nyangu po eni isa nze busi nyangu po di da ya eso Christo ebe wu de ni moja aji ya in ama ya nze ya in ebe bo brebia ene ne se bra ubi hun ya ya nubo huni yesu ya na metaka diwe wa bro fu Mahatma Gandhi said is quoted to have said that if he had met Christ before meeting some Christians he would perhaps be born again. God, he didn't see Christ in the Christians he had met. Papa, se obi shia wa uhunu Yesu ana, obra wo bon, kwa ya wo namuno, se obi di wa chia wo kwa Yesu wa ana. Enu niya a se mwa mi bi se wo se abre yi. Se, ma mani nye di yi ma wo. Isan se, un konkron wo wo se obe buwa yi, mi et mi ananti sa kwa yi na so. So the message here is that the Christian life is not a carefree life. It is not such an, a life of careless abandon. It's about difficult choices for a wonderful reward. Chris Obrano, at the home, I say, you can dream. I did want to share your coupon more biase. You see, share biase. Now it is the unwillingness and fear of the small temporary afflictions that believers need to face while on the narrow path. That's what makes most people choose the easy road. Se ube sumu nyamia, kaya unu se, ee denya wiyase, ene ube pre kakra. Se ama ni huka kre bino, ene me kriso wopi, ene tu minfo umu, ene ura ye, nyami sumu fuli, ene uye peye. Na anso, ebre yi, masa ma mede ebre yi, se, o nyanku pon afre yen se, ni huu nkonkro na odia ma yeno, onu no beche chile yen kwa yin, bebi ya yen nante, di cha hume urade. Na wan chile chile, kwa yin, Oba namsua, aye kwa ya, aye eko, nkwa jie, eko enemu. There is a fifth picture, picture number five. Ewa, Matthew chapter 7, 13 and 14. 
And this picture is in the verse 14. Jesus says, only a few people find the narrow gate and the narrow road. You can find something if you are seeking out for it. If you are going out looking, it doesn't happen unto you. Even though occasionally you may stumble upon something you are not looking for, the most important thing is that you find something when it has value for you. And you will take it serious. And the Yesu children say, you find it. Not <laughs> In fact, and then we'll be so eh, I have fashionable. So be a qua sorry. But in your fashionable a yinny de jim kwa ne mum yan kupo wajine de na what you mu na oma make it choices. Ebu some more practical examples of some of the challenges in the in the narrow way and the narrow gate. Say Busya Ato say and I'm saying we are Christo ninti won't mean to your bribe. Now we are consultant. I will mind Ghana moon. Now, won't mean to your bribe, won't you? Won't you, Jumania? Ubet me a trim, Ubedin Yameno cray, adding a mere dessert. So, won't nam Yamimu no cray, Obeshow. Obeshow, I shall ma. And now, sir, who shall say, and no be a ye, and no be a ye, and tea, won't you, Christo, no quaebi? Mammy, Miss Al, Christo, no, would did ya, Oba customs. O be a ye, and to also ye be anna. Anna, sir, why, sir, me dear. Ya ya jimi no metia na nyankopon be ebeshe midwa ama midwa akoso wo wo sa jidie no se wonni sa jidie no a ebe ya din ama se odi wo kristo som ebe nante kwantia no so ebe ya din ebusia na dey me bi sa obi abaya na sa abrante all the boys boys girls girls ade omo ya ni na omo de obo de progress e dozu wo ya bi ana se wo tu hu asi wo se ya nyankopon aka no e wo na sem no and no, and I be diso. And a juma why a ding. Go for na ma kwa hudo be bre so, and a pe juma. Udo mwe wura bisa, and I will chen yami and him se, obesi wa nyim yam. This is the point. You can find something if you are seeking it. Nya, se wo shushe bi biya, and I will be hum. Bible se, a kwa yi tiyan ane diye, wo mwe shushe no, and e nya. Consider what Jesus had just taught about persistence in prayer in Matthew chapter 7. So, we'll go to verse 10. Now, we'll go to the part that says, So, if you ask, if you seek, and if you knock, then you will receive it. If you seek, and if you knock, then you will receive it. And we'll say, I want you to understand, So, we'll go to the verse 10. I just say, see what you say. I say, when you need the house, I will say, I'm going to be a man. Now, I'm going to be a man. I'm going to be a man. I'm going to be a man. Then your Hebrew for man, man, you know, a kind, you know. So Christo, some Paul actually to our my, oh Timothy said, "O be any of us who Jesus Christo, no cry mu pa, we are sent down." So I want you to two name me and what, because I am so unam kwanti ano sinti, I na otaye aba osusa, I am so nyamia wajine dino, odo be from. Every day be bomb pa, I am pesa wujina so ye, so yeah, kwanbe so na unam. To find and to stay on the narrow road and to enter the narrow gate, we must persist by asking, by seeking, by knocking, and treating people you know, with, with the love of God and with the mind of God. So, you I have me no watch him for nini enum. The trust so in Siana said, A quino Tiano a bia, a dura gate in me bia, or Benjamin Chain. A quint a treno, a dura gate a treno bia, or call say him. A moody a hang and a ope. A busian, it's not possible that you will walk on the wide road and hope that you will enter the narrow gate. This, this time, I want us to have this. 
this picture is very clear. I have spoken about what these pictures mean. Share these pictures with you, and I've spoken of how, uh, what they mean and how to choose either to enter the narrow road to salvation and rest in Christ, or instead walk on the wide road and the wide gate that leads to perdition and destruction without Christ. I've shared how the two roads do not intersect, and so why we must make a choice uh, to be on the right road. And I've told you that God. Jesus himself wrote down in Matthew 7 that at the day of reckoning, people who may have walked on the wide road uh, will come to the gate and say, Lord, I, I, I cast out demons. Yeah, I, 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 I did prophecy with your name. Jesus will say, I don't know you. Away from me. We are responsible for what we choose. We want to pray this hour that God will enable us that we will not just be church members, not just churchgoers walking on the wide path, hoping to enter the narrow road. In fact, it, it will be interesting on the day of record when you look into scripture, how many people will come to the gate and claim that they knew Christ and Christ will say, I didn't know you. Oh, uh, my name is Marcel. The B, my name is Marcel. Over the only a Christian of Obenante. Father, this hour we have heard your word. We have taken your word into our spirit that you speak to us clearly. In binary terms either we are on the narrow road to go through the narrow gate to come to salvation or else we are on the wide road and that will take us to the wide gate onto destruction father waking us up those of us who are in the church community we have learned the church culture we have become partakers in the church events and programs we can sing the church songs we can do all the things Christians do but our hearts and our souls have not been convicted. We have not been regenerated. So we are on the wide path. We look into majority. When we go to church, we look at what people are doing. In fact, many people look at what their pastors are saying, what their pastors are doing, but they themselves have not been regenerated. We pray today, my God, that you will wake us up. Those of us who are in the church community, those of us who are in the church family, but have not been regenerated, are not walking on the narrow path and entering the narrow gate. Jehovah, that you may rescue us and turn us around and cause our life to speak to you on honor and on glory. Father, this hour, we pray for salvation for those who don't know you. That they will turn away from their own self-judgment and come into the, into the judgment that takes us into salvation. The Lord bless you, my brother. The Lord bless you, my sister. As you have heard his word, that you will make a commitment that if you are in church, if you have been saved, that you will work out your salvation with fear and trembling, walking on the narrow path. If you have not been saved, but you are just a member of a church. Oh, my brother, I wake you up. I wake you up. Let me tell you something as I conclude. My daughter, my last baby, she's now 28, came to me two, three years ago and said, Papa, how would you know if we are born again? We are born in pastor's house. We have gone to church from our childhood, from Sunday school, from children's department till now. How would anybody know that we are born again? That woke me up strongly because i wanted to remember when did i lead my daughter to christ and my, uh, gladly she told me when i did that with her but there are many many who are born into the church who belong to the church community but have not openly convert you know call jesus into their lives as their lord and their personal savior this message is for you turn around and make a deliberate choice it may be hard it may be hard, but Christ Jesus has assured us that the Holy Spirit is living in us. He will empower you. Once you make up your mind, the Holy Spirit will enable you to implement that choice, to live for God on the narrow way that you may not be rejected at the end of, 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 of life. It will be painful. It will be sad that you were in the church community, but you will be disqualified. The Lord bless you. 
The Lord strengthen you to make a deliberate choice to serve God in truth and in the spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. At this time, we also want to encourage you to continue your financial donations for the work of ministry. And so at this time in our service, we'll be taking our tithes and our offerings. And wherever you have gathered as a group of BIWC members, you can put together your tithes and your offerings. For those of you who would want to pay by mobile money, you are welcome to do that. The process is dial star 776 star, then 100 ash. Then you put in the merchant code 310. Then you enter the amount. Then you enter your name. That is for the tight. Then you enter your Momo pin number. Let me go through the process again. You dial star 776 star 100 ash. Then you enter merchant code 310. You, in, you enter the amount. You indicate your name and then your mobile money pin. Uh, you can also pay into the BIWC bank account. That's Fidelity Bank Ridge. The number is 107. 003-171-1396. Fidelity Bank Ridge, you pay into BIWC account. The number is 107-003-171-1396. May God bless you. May God increase you as you give your tithes and offering. In Jesus' name. Amen.